afternoon. Today I finished building a bag for a customer and this is a two tube bag with removable front pouch. I haven't featured the two tube bag in an overview video yet so I'm glad that I finally had one come up in the uh, order line and I could get one built to, uh, to show you. So like all of my bags this is built specifically for a customer so it does have options on it that were requested by the customer. Uh, this, this customer wanted a main flap Velcro leader pocket on their bag. It's got stainless steel drainage grommets. Uh, they wanted bucktail loops put in the removable front pouch of the bag. And then in the main body of the bag, they wanted no bucktail loops, but they did want an open top pocket. They also wanted wetsuit quantity stainless steel drainage. Normally this bag would come with 10 stainless steel grommets, but for people who want extra drainage, I can do an extra row of stainless steel grommets in the bag to get water out even quicker. So that covers all of the options that this customer wanted in the bag. Uh, like all of my bags, they come with a uh, adjustable and removable shoulder strap. So I'm gonna get that out of the way so it's not cluttering this up. And let's go over the bag now. So the main dimensions, the dimensions I should say on the main bag, it's approximately seven inches wide by 10 inches in height and three and a half inches front to back. The dimensions on the removable front pouch around seven inches wide, about four and a quarter inches in height, and around two and three quarter inches front to back. Like my other bags, uh, my removable front pouch has belt loops on the back of it, and I'll show you how, those, how this works. So the pouch is held on by clips. Let's pop these. And then there's also Velcro that holds it in place. And then you can see that on the back of the bag, there are belt loops. So this can be used as a belt bag on its own. Let's put this back on the bag. Line up the bottom, get the Velcro to stick, and put the clips in place. So then the main body of the bag, this is like I said, my two tube bag. So obviously there's two tubes in it. Get that opened up. Like all of my bags, this one has lure retention ears inside. Uh, and that's to keep lures in there if the bag falls over. Some people swim with these bags and it can help to keep the lures from creeping out of the bag. Uh, for people who want to just beach walk with this bag, I'll show you the tube set can pop right out. The lure, the, the lure retention ears can hold open by Velcro. Tube set can come out. And then the lure retention ears can easily tuck right inside the bag. And the way that I construct my bags, the sides of the bag are designed so that when that lure retention ear is tucked inside, it's actually captured by the seams of the bag. So. As long as the tube sets out here, I will show you how this customer wanted an open top pocket in their bag. And I don't know if you can see it, but at the bottom of that pocket, there is a stainless steel grommet to let water out of the, the pocket as well. Let's put the tube set back in. You know what, let's pull this out so I can just show it to you. The tubes have caps on the bottom, which I drill for drainage. And then the tubes are three inches in diameter by eight inches in length. And then when that's inserted into the bag, there's approximately uh, an inch to an inch and a half of headroom between the top of the tube and the top of the bag. And that's so that you can hang lures by the front set of treble hooks. And then when the bag is closed, the nose of the lure won't tent up the bag. So let's close that up now.
and then let's look at the front pouch front pouches on most of my bags come with a flap buckle so pop the flap buckle here and then like i said this customer wanted bucktail and tin loops put in the front pouch of the bag so this has got four bucktail loops and then behind the bucktail loops is a place where you can hang tins on the back of the bag like all of my bags has belt loops on the back let's see if i can get my finger in between there and show you there you go there's belt loops in the back so you can put this on your surf belt and then there are stainless steel d-rings on the back so that you can clip the bag to a clip on your surf belt and then when you make a cast the bag isn't swinging around your body now on the bottom i already showed you the grommets this bag normally comes with 10 stainless steel grommets, but this customer uh, is going to be doing some uh, deep wading and stuff like that. So they wanted extra drainage grommets in the bag so that water would come out as quickly as possible. And then on the side of this bag, like all of my, all of my shoulder bags, it comes with my Buddy Lock accessory attachment system which consists of an upper mount and then a lower, what I call a safety clip. So I'll show you how that works. I have a couple accessories here. So here's a plier sheath that I build and it's built for, uh, this is built for the Vanstall seven inch big game pliers, but any pliers that are of a similar profile will fit in this plier sheath as well. You can see on the back of it, it has a male buddy lock component there's a stainless steel D-ring on there to clip a lanyard onto. And then at the bottom, there's the safety clip. So I'll show you how this locks on here. You got the female part there. Lock the male part in. Give it a twist into place. Take that buckle that's there. Lock that into the bag. And then that accessory can't twist off the side of the bag. So there's a plier sheath on that now. And then there's another accessory I've got here. This is one that is for a 20 ounce uh, Gatorade bottle. It'll also fit a uh, Poland Spring style water bottle. So let's lock that on this side of the bag. Give it a twist. Lock in the safety clip. And then once that's locked in, that accessory can't twist off the side of the bag. I build a number of different accessories uh, in the buddy lock style. I make one that I call an attitude. So you could take a two tube bag and turn it into a three tube bag. It's great for moving smaller lures like SP minnows out of your main bag and holding those. The attitude is a little bit shorter so you can hold those in the attitude. You can say I build the water bottle holder, uh, the plier sheath. There's just a whole bunch of different buddy lock accessories that I offer so that you can kind of customize your bag the way that you want it uh, for a given trip or you can take everything off of it if you just want to go uh, really lightweight. And I'll show you one other accessory that I build. One second. All right. So if you have one of my belts, there's an accessory that I build which I call buddy lock belt loop accessory adapter. So this is simply a buddy lock accessory that mimics the side of the bag that you can slide on to your surf belt. And this will fit on pretty much any surf belt that's on the market. It's not just for mine, it'll fit on any one. A lot of my customers, these things that you can just beat them up, they will just leave one of these on their belt at all times. And if you don't want to carry a water bottle on your bag and have the uh, additional weight of a water bottle on your shoulder, pop that off of there, put that on the Buddy Lock belt loop adapter, lock it on, and then you can carry that on your hip so that you have the weight transferred to your hips and not on your shoulder. So as long as I had one of those built for a customer, it's a good chance to show what that is. And you can, any buddy lock accessory that I build can go on there. I've got some customers that have 
two or three of these on their belts. They can put their water bottle on there. They can transfer their pliers over. They can put an attitude on there just for a quick outing where they just want to carry a, a few lures. They can have an attitude on their belt and uh, just carry the essentials without bringing a shoulder bag with. So I'm um, surprised it took me this long to, uh, to get a two tube bag overview done, but I'm glad one finally came up in the build order so I can show you because it is a, a pretty popular bag that I build. Overall, in the grand scheme of things, my, my three tube bag is my most popular bag. Uh, my back bay bags, which I've done reviews on, uh, those are my second most popular bag. And then I would say that my two tube bag and my high low bags uh, come in right around third place in terms of popularity overall. So hopefully you've had a chance to watch some of my previous videos. Uh, down in this video in the comments section, I will leave a uh, post in there that will have the link to my bag quote and order form. And in that quote and order form, you can see all the different bags that I build uh, and all the different options uh, that I offer. For example, this, this customer, they wanted black stitching and they wanted black trim. But I have some people that want offset stitching color, different trim colors, maybe match a sports team, whatever. Uh, so I have a lot of different uh, thread colors and trim colors that are listed in my sheet. All of my buddy lock accessories are listed on the form uh, as well as the options for extra drainage grommets and stuff like that. So again, thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I really look forward to building a bag for you. Thank you.